So what I have here is a uh, hydraulic shop press and works great. But the, uh, the issue is that on these models of shop presses, they have a male press here and the uh, shop press pins that I've purchased and bought a bunch of these different sizes. How do you, how do I, I put it so I can press with this. So what I've come up with is I've gone into my 20 pound bag of old sockets and the machine drill a hole here, thread it, put this here and then the idea and then that way it'll keep it steady as I press down onto whatever application I need. Let's get started. Mark the center. That's the idea. Okay, I'm gonna tap and die the shop press pin. Find a machine screw in the world. Too short. That looks good. Let's see how it looks. That's pretty good. That's gonna oh, look. But on occasion, I want to use this quick adapter also. So the idea is to drill a hole and tap it out with some threads so I could have a set screw. Cutting through it. Set screw. It's gonna work just fine. I should get it. Washer. So the idea is for this to be on the shop press. And And that's on there really good. And I could press down on the bearing or whatever it is that I need to get pressed out. And that's on there. No way that's going anywhere. Go put this on the press. Line this up. Attach the socket. <clears throat> All right. Okay, it appears to be good to go. What I did to the socket, I also notched the inside with a Dremel. So some of these attachments that have these little bearings on them, these little ball bearings, you could just put on there and the idea is that it'll hold one little twist, it'll tighten it up and keep it really secure. If you're uncomfortable with that, you can use this the spacer it came with and that'll fit in there also. Twist that, it's good to go. And pull that out. And last but not least, a one inch, a one inch push pin that will go also, in case you wanna use just a regular pin on that. And then this style here, pin, you kinda line it up. You gotta go right in there like that. And you can go ahead and press those bearings out with these. All done. All right, well that's gonna complete it. One big red 
12 ton hydraulic suppressor with this little one inch socket adapter with a threaded holder there. I think that's gonna work just fine. Yeah.